private area, sir. Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. Mr. Whitmer. That was. Ah! That is Phineas Whitmer. The famous private investigator, hired by Madame Carla this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. What the hell was that? Killer. Mr. Whitmer, thank God you're here. Can I take you to Madame Carlyle? Yes, please. If you'd follow me. Oh, by the way, I told Kate about those texts. What did she say? Well, I thought she'd be mad at me, but thank you. We had a really good talk about it. Oh, what did I tell you? She's a sensible woman. And that stuff from your I've never seen like a place guarded like this, and I, know. And, and I dare say I don't today, like sir. it at all. I need to this is what I mean. You, you know. have to be patted down before you see Madame Carlyle inside. <sighs> sir, I'm just doing my job. I gotta pat you down. Sorry about that. And you are good to go, sir. Thank you. That appears to be a half-burned diary belonging to Zachary Carlyle. It says he and Madame Carlyle murdered their older brother 46 years ago, and that Mr. Fernsby helped them cover it up. He was planning to confess it all. Interesting. Hey, how you doing? Mr. Whitmer, thank you for coming on such short notice. A great tragedy has fallen upon us, and I need a quick resolution handled with absolute discretion. Results and discretion are my speciality. Very well. I suppose you will want to start at the crime scene. In my experience, a thorough examination of a potential crime scene is half the job done. Good. Fernsby will take over from here. I am Mr. Fernsby, the butler. Madame Carlyle has asked me to assist you in any way possible. Mr. Whitmer, I understand that you've traveled from London. Would you care for some refreshments? Or do you prefer to go straight to Mr. Zachary's sleeping quarters? I prefer to get started. As you wish. If you'll follow me, sir. I feel obliged to point out that current affairs surrounding Madame Carlyle are of a delicate nature. You may be familiar with the recent announcement of her death. You'll probably learn that a stage funeral is scheduled to take place tomorrow. 
Madam's children were not informed until this morning that their mother was in fact not dead at all. So please bear Hello, with sir. if they seem affected by the rather unusual situation. I trust I do not need to remind you that there will be consequences if word gets out that Madame Carlyle is still alive. I'll consider her dead when I leave. Before you inspect the crime scene, I will tell you this. The case concerns the death of Mr. Zachary, Madame Carlyle's younger brother. He was found dead in his bed this morning. Locked room murder mystery 47. I trust you'll get to the bottom of this. Why don't you use your camera to scan the dead body 47? Throat markings indicate a rare short-lived plant poison killed him. Spread shows time of death at around 10 o'clock last night. You do know your poisons 47. Zachary was shot. Bring for new you well last night. Not exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal. Zachary's suicide note. Also, a sample of handwriting. It could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity. I believe you've done a thorough search of the crime scene 47. Maybe it's time to see the butler. I'm curious about the information he's prepared for you. Junior calling from Morgan. Possible intruder. Sweeping area. Over. This is the time to step out and identify yourself. Okay.
Area is clear. Please advise. of interesting no, things we should get uh, back to. Letter 47. Never opened. Must have slid under the secret door nearly 46 years ago. It states that Alexa Carlyle's older brother, Montgomery, wanted Alexa to become the heir to the Carlyle Empire instead of himself. Hmm. Interesting. You're an excellent detective, 47. Uncovering truths half a century old. Mr. Fernsby, if you I'm frame done it with correctly, the crime scene. I believe you dinner. could use the Zachary information died to convince Madame Carlyle that night. Zachary that means committed the staff suicide. And Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until this morning. That leaves Madame's family and myself as the only persons here when he died. And before you ask, no, I do not have an alibi. I was alone in my office at the time of death. Here's the material that I prepared for. Aye. It's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters. Hopefully that will help you keep track of your findings. Please come and see me when you've solved the case, and I will take you to Madame Carlyle. This is very useful information, 47. A quick glance, and I can I'm see that you've already uncovered some relevant to Madame facts. Carlyle. Very well. If so how does one solve a murder mystery, 47? Motive means an opportunity, I believe. May I suggest you ask the suspects for alibis? Or perhaps you prefer searching the manor for clues first? This is Madame Carlyle's office. Please step inside. Your detective skills have gained you access to the lion's den, 47. Now, go claim your reward. So, Mr. Whitmer, you've reached a conclusion. Take a seat. Please, go ahead. Your brother committed suicide. I need to see some evidence to believe that, Mr. Whitmer. Zachary was found dead in a room locked from the inside. He died from a rare poisonous plant he cultivated himself. He believed you were dead, and a suicide note explained that he did not have the courage to go on without you. That's what I don't buy. I cared for him deeply, but the truth is he hated my guts. My death would not make him commit suicide, I can promise you that. Perhaps the death of your older brother, Montgomery, then. I have found evidence showing that you and Zachary killed him nearly 50 years ago. I believe that was when Zachary turned recluse. 
Your brother recently uncovered proof that your past deeds were for nothing. A letter from Montgomery stating that he wanted you, Madame Carlyle, to take over from your father instead of himself. As you were better suited to the job, everything would have turned out the way you wanted without anyone dying. What broke Zachary once, now destroyed him. And you saw this letter? I did. Oh, Zachary. How oh, royally I fucked up. Mr. Whitmer, I'm sorry, I, I, I... I just need to gather my thoughts. Right. The payment for your services, have you decided on an amount? I'll send you an invoice. To be honest, I doubt you'll see any money. You see, Mr. Whitmer, the irony is even deeper than you know. It's all gone. Everything I expect. I killed my older brother to protect the family legacy, drove my little brother mad in the process, and now I've managed to lose everything to a fucking secretary. Would you believe it? <laughs> the road to hell is paved with good intentions. I trust you'll see yourself out. I need to excuse myself. Where are you going? Please, sit down. Thank you. Now, where were we? I trust you'll see yourself out. I need to excuse myself. I need some privacy. Thank you. That's Madame Carlyle taken care of. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards. That door leads to Emma and Gregory's room. Oh, stop pacing, for God's sake, Emma. But why don't we get any kind of explanation? It's bloody rude, that's what it is. <laughs> Mike, one, I have one civilian, that's zero one casualty. Who are we kidding? He's probably not looking for anything serious. Shit! Yes, sir. That is the door to Rebecca's room. Rebecca? Yes. 
She's insistent, that one. She kept up. Asking all kinds of questions. Look like the corridor's clear. Broken lab equipment. It looks like it was recently used, though. Never again meet someone like that. I can't bear to think of what happened. Sure. Hey! I need help! Please! Ah! Thank you. 
I'm afraid. But we don't Ethel looked at You always led by example rather than by words and meaningless gestures. Oh. You know. Mary is so upset. Jesus. Might have a situation. Sweeping area over. You guys planning to give the whole ground an overhaul? Still booked. Car back already. <laughs>
Madame Carlyle wants to inspect the arena. Huh? That's a token for a vault in the Milton Fitzpatrick London Bank. You need a pair, and you gain access no questions asked. I bet that's where Madame Carlyle keeps a copy of the Edwards file. Mission complete. Well done, 47. You copy? I'm at the location now, and I have nothing to- Hold it right there! 